I was born in a city called Dresden, Germany. It's in the southern part. If you have any reference over there, hour and a half, you are in Prague, which is the capital of Czechoslovakia. Dresden has for centuries been a jewel of art, culture, and achievement. Would you believe age seven, we take a little jump? My playmates lived with their parents in a big, beautiful castle. Oh, magnificent. And can you imagine, as a seven-year-old boy, being invited to play in the dungeon? is mind-blowing, right? Oh. Now, we were fighting dragons. Uh, dinosaurs hadn't been invented yet. And we pursued witches, I remember clearly. But certainly, we all came prepared with our sword, which was a stick, to fight the ugly knights. There was a time in my life when I thought I had really big talent. I even wrote short stories. I sent them in, never got published. But you know what? That didn't turn out to be any problem for me. At least I tried it. That had uh, me going for a long time with my vivid memories and, and imagination. But then, you know, um, now it wasn't much future in it and things interfered. There were some dark moments in my growing up time called the Second World War. Lonely. The title of this piece is Women by the Harbor, because you will notice they are prostitutes. Mm -hmm. And you see that long pier and the stark buildings, but there are no people. So as much as people think uh, it must be wonderful or exciting, it's a terrible, lonely life. And again, you two, I have walked the street of loneliness for many years. Ultimately, I was driven to come to America. As luck will have it, and there is a great deal in life that we need luck, I ended up being hired by IBM. 31 years, it was an incredible career. You start on the bottom, which for me was the parts room, where I handed out maintenance parts for typewriters to customer engineers. And then at, as you had ability and you were moved into dispatch, can you imagine me on dispatch? I was an administrator. My title to net it out for you, I had the great privilege to be a third line manager in world headquarters. I had 300 secretaries under me. And Kim, that ultimately made me ill. I'm very proud to share with you and others who care that I was the only white male who was made an Equal Opportunities Program Manager for the Western region. Now, mind you, that was unheard of. But they thought, hey, this immigrant kid maybe has a chance to making it, you know. I would say on a personal level, it was a balancing act because the... Uh, Corporate culture is the most aristocratic culture you can think of. And you really have to work hard to make a go of it and survive. 75 years later, I live in a castle called Apple Ridge. The scenery is a bit different. The dungeon now is a library where I doodle write or read, have a great time to myself. And instead of fighting ugly nights, I fight the keyboard on a computer. What are my hopes for the future? The ability to deal with challenges and still say we're going to make it a better world to live in.